Hello everyone and welcome. With our video today, I want to tackle something that's very interesting related to the building code many of us may not know about if we're new to the building code. And here it is. Why are some words in the Ontario building code italicized? And what I mean by that is, why are some words in the building code written at an angle like this? So the question at the top, that's an italicized font. So to be super clear, this is an example of text that is not italicized because all the words are vertical. This is an example of words that are italicized because they're at an angle. Some words in the Ontario Building Code are at an angle. Why is that? I'm going to give you the TLDR for those of you that don't want to look at the whole thing, at the whole video that is. It's because those words are defined in the Ontario Building Code. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, let's jump into the building code right away. Let me go to the next scene. Come on over, we're gonna actually look at the building code that I have right on the side here. So here is the Ontario building code, you can see it. I'm gonna open it up at any page, okay? I'm gonna just pick somewhere in the building code, it's volume one. I'm gonna pick anywhere in the building code. Oh yeah, okay, I've opened it up at part four. That's the structural portion of the Ontario Building Code. You can see here, structural design. Okay. I've opened it up anywhere, and I'm just going to look here. See how here, under 4.1.4.11, the specified dead load for a structural member consists of blah, 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 blah. Notice how the words dead load are italicized, right? They're not vertical. They're written at an angle. What does that mean? It means that in the Ontario Building Code, the building code has actually defined what it means, what the building code means by those words. And where is that found? I'm gonna flip to it right here, and then I'm gonna show you on screen too, okay? It is in Division A of the building code. So right at the very front of volume, volume one, right here, Division A, part one. So this is where we are. And you wanna go down right here under part one, section 1.4, subsection 1.4.1, definitions of words and phrases. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flip through that, 1.4.1, under here, right here, you see this? Defined terms. Under here, in alphabetical order, you're going to find pages and pages of defined terms. All of them are words that your building code has written in italicized font, and you actually get the definition according to the building code for this. So let me come back to the main screen. Here we are. So why are some words in the Ontario Building Code italicized? And by that I mean words that are written like this, there are certain words. It's because the Ontario Building Code provides a definition for it. Okay, and you can find that under Division A Part 1, which is Compliance in General, specifically under Article 1.4.1.2 Defined Terms. Let me just show it like this, okay? And why is that important? Okay, we've reached the end of the video, so I'm gonna talk just a little bit more about why that's important. Let me remove some stuff here, here, and here. Why is that important? Because if you're using the building code, you must use the words that the building code uses the way that it means for them to be used. I'll give you one example. Okay, one silly example, but just to illustrate the point. According to the building code, the term building height does not mean the same thing that you and I mean when we talk about a building height. Go check it out here. Okay, Building height, according to the building code, has nothing to do with the vertical measurement of the height of the building. Instead, it has to do with the number of stories. Okay, 
I wanna thank you so much for your time, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, let me know if, you, if I should be continuing doing these videos. In the meantime, thank you so much for your time. Take care, stay well, and have a lovely day.